Hello again everyone, Vincent Cameron here. In this video what we're going to set up is linking our domain with our host account. Now what this is going to accomplish is allowing when somebody to visit our domain, for example accesssimplefreedom.com, they'll end up on wherever it is that I want to point them to. So my images, my videos, whatever it is that I put on my host account. So let's go do that right now. Alright everyone, the first thing we want to do is set ourselves up with a few tabs in our internet browser. The first one will be our domain. As you recall from the first training video on domain registration, we set ourselves up with GoDaddy. So what we want to do is log into GoDaddy with our username and password. Select Go. Once inside, it's going to give us a list of the domains that we have registered through them. You want to go ahead and select, obviously, the one that you want to change that you just registered. By clicking on it, whatever uh, appropriate domain that you want to change, the domain name server. Now the reason we want to change the DNS information or domain name server is so that when somebody goes to our domain or URL, they're not faced with a nasty little page, something similar to this one, where this does nothing for us or building our business or image. It, it only makes our domain register money. So we want that to go to our host and our website. So to do that, once logged into the dashboard of the domain, we've got our domain selected. We want to make sure, um, click on name servers. A nice little pop up will happen where it'll give us the options do we want to forward it? So we want to park it, do we want to forward it, or do we want to host it somewhere else? Which is what we want. I have a hosting account with these domains. I host my domains with another provider. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to get the name server one, name server two, which is required. So make sure that our domain points to the host account. To get that, we want to use our IP address that's in the welcome email from HostGator and then forward slash cPanel. So what do I mean by that? It would be, mine for instance is 174120.834 and then it would be forward slash cPanel. Now you might be asking, okay, I never got the confirmation, I don't have this number. That's okay too. There's a link in the description as well as on the post itself. With this link here, it's selfseo.com forward slash find IP address uh, website PHP. And you enter the website address that you um, registered with your host account when you, you got your host gator, as recalled in the second video. You just type in your website address, click on get IP address, and that'll go ahead and give you the IP address that that host assigned to you. So go ahead and paste that up, forward slash cPanel. Now it'll ask you to log into your cPanel. Now I'm sorry there's no special tool that's going to produce your username and password, so you're just going to have to make sure that uh, you didn't delete that. And then once logged into the cPanel, all we have to do, we'll go through all these tools in future videos, so don't be overwhelmed. Right now all we need to get is on the bottom here, it has our name servers. So you want to go ahead and copy and paste, control C on your keyboard over in the name server 1 and 2. So there's the name server 1. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And that's it. Click on OK. Takes about, you know, maximum 24 hours, but realistically 15 minutes. And whammo, your website will be ready for uh, public viewing. So in the next video, we're going to get ourselves actually set up with an FTP client, uh, an easy thing to do. I'll show you guys where to get some free tools at there to get yourselves logged in and allowing you to take whatever and put whatever it is you want on your online hard drive. Till the next one.